Hey guys, it's Alex from CR Kennedy, the Leica distributors, uh, showing off the Leica Total Station with the HP Sight Print, and we're going to just demonstrate what it can do on this small little area, uh, and we're going to print this little design that I made up on CAD. Just going to have some toilets, some points, some arcs, text, and yeah, we'll see the results in a second. This is overkill for what you would normally print on a site, but this is for good for demonstrating purposes. I'm going to try and make like a work of art here. You can see it on the, on the tablet, it's going around the arc of a toilet. The green means it's finished, that line. The blue means it's flashing, that means it's, that's what it's printing. And as you can see, it's lining itself up and it'll just print around and print everything. So once, you, once it's going, you just leave it. You don't have to touch it anymore. As long as there's no obstacles, the one thing you need to worry about is the line of sight. So as you'll see, when more people come, you'll see me pushing people out of the way <laughs> to try and keep the line of sight. It's got two large wheels that allow it to roll on top of objects up to 19 mil in, in height. You've also got these four depth sensors on the side in case it goes over a cliff. So there's a cliff in the way, which is replicated by my phone, it'll stop. And it won't move until you move it out of the way. So you'll see here, I've, I've put a point. So this is a point that I put in, in, in CAD. So if you just put a single point in CAD for say center of light, which you'll see here, It'll then print, print that point. The idea is that when the, all the walls are up and they're gonna put in like ceiling lights or HVAC systems, you could have these points everywhere and they come along with their plumb lasers and laser it up so they don't have to tape off anything. Here you can see this is like a, a door schedule. So door number two, level 15, 2103. So you could have all the doors labeled along the site. Um, this is the arc of a door, so you can see it's going across the door there, and they can print arcs. So you see here now it's lining up with the end of the wall, the uh, end of the door. Um, but yeah, one thing to, is to remember is it's all controlled by the Leica Total Station at the end there, so that needs a line of sight. Yeah. So it's how, how you make the data look is how, how the results you're going to get. You could have, you can do the toilets, you can do your lighting plan, the reflected ceiling plan, HVAC hangers when they have to plumb up the laser, you can print all them. You have, you have all the text you want, you have different colours, there's like six or there's eight different types of ink, but six different colours. So each trade could have a different colour. Um, you can have it either semi-permanent, so it lasts two to four weeks, or permanent that's pretty much there forever. Which way the door hangs, is often times where the door's hung the wrong way, or the wrong door's there. You can print it the right way, you can't stuff that up. So you, at the start, I know you probably saw me before walking around with the prism, you'd go over the penetrations and you can store it as an obstacle and mark it. But you'd also have a CAD plan with those plumbing penetrations already. So when you import that plan, you just say, all those plumbing penetrations are obstacles and it'll know before you even get to site. So, but it's all about communication on site and getting it like, getting a clear run. Uh, basically, as soon as the, the, the slab's poured and dried, if, if you're happy to go in there and pull string line, a uh, chalk line, then you should be able to come up with this. Yeah. HP call it a communication tool, not a layout tool. Because oh, yeah. it's like, you print everything on site and you have all the trades like, hey, put your tape measures away, we're running off this. This is what we're this is what we're running. It's the different trades can rely on this rather than having to rely on those points there. We're basically coming from the surveyor has to come out, put those grids down. But if that grid there, they need a second grid to pull the string line and pull the chalk line. If that other grid line underneath that box, you've just lost half an hour of them having to move all that stuff do a string and then they've got to calculate off all the dimensions. In theory, there's no dimensions here, you don't need dimensions. So you're just setting up off the survey grid, uh, survey control, which are always at every site, and then just printing. So you're avoiding all that manual handling. You're avoiding safety, going up and down. People, multiple people on site, I can do that by myself. So there's a lot of benefits. It's reducing labor, reducing manual uh, calculations as well and the up and down part. <laughs> Two big 
four by four wheels in theory. You've got like a wheel from a scooter. It's actually offset off number 17 ink jet so that it, when it rolls, this doesn't pick up ink. Um, so it's actually offset. This is like that 5.5 5 centimeter ink um, printer head that I was talking about before. And you've got the 32 pins you can see. And the, the, the edge ones are actually angled out as well so you can get a larger line. But that's, this is what gives us the ability to print the text in one, in one pass. So it's just as fast to print that as it is to print one line because of those 32 pins. Um, here's where the ink cartridge is kept. And this is where the battery is. You've got two batteries, four hours charge each one, charges in two hours. Uh, and then you've got the front here. You've got the three LiDAR sensors, which detects obstacles like uh, these struts. So this is the, the ink cartridge. So you can just carry two or three of these around with you. You got, I think, I've oh, forgotten, 3.5 kilometers of ink per, per cartridge. 